Who wants to get that highly visible project, that promotion, or that pay raise in a crowded workplace? Or maybe you want to promote your product, your business, in a crowded marketplace. The key is to stand out. But how do you stand out when most of us get the same book training, the same degrees, the same technical skills? Today I would like to share with you three critical skills that has helped me stand out in some of the fastest paced, fastest growing companies in Silicon Valley. Skill number one, have a positive attitude. Your attitude will determine how far you go. Your attitude will have an impact not only on yourselves, but on others as well. It's always great to have a smile and a positive outlook. Now, I'm not saying be a Pollyanna in every situation, every circumstance, but I am saying that you have to know what you can control and what you can't control. You can't control, for instance, a plunging stock market. You can control an out of control virus, for example. But what you can control is your attitude towards these situations. Kipling, the great poet, in his beautiful poem, If, said, if you can keep your head when everyone else around you is losing theirs, if you can meet triumph and disaster and treat these two imposters just the same, yours will be the earth and everything in it. And what's more, you will be a man, my son. What a fantastic poem. I love my journey here at Toastmasters because over the course of the years, I've learned from several Toastmasters how to have a a happy attitude, a helpful attitude, an attitude filled with gratitude. There is no question. Have a positive attitude and you will stand out. Skill number two, become a great communicator. Most of us dread the thought of public speaking. Many of us even fear speaking in small groups, in one-on-one -on -one settings, in meetings. Winston Churchill said it best, the fear of speaking keeps us from observing, from learning, from living and appreciating everything in life. So what separates a good speaker versus a great speaker? A great speaker is not only good in public speaking, but a great speaker can relate to you on a one-on-one -on -one situation as well. They're very good, even in small settings. And that's what I love about Toastmasters. Toastmasters gives you an opportunity not only to practice and speak over and over again, but also to listen and provide thoughtful feedback. When you combine great communication, great speaking skills, with great listening skills, you will be in great demand. Skill number three, become a great leader. If you can inspire your team to follow you and achieve your goals, you will get that promotion. You will get that project or that pay raise, even if you are not the best suited candidate given your technical skills. President John Quincy Adams said it best, if you can inspire others to learn more, to grow more, or be more, you are a leader. And that's what Toastmasters does for us as well, to help us become not only better communicators, but better leaders as well at the club level, the area level, the division level, the district level, the international level, the opportunities for leadership is immense. These three critical skills I continue 
to learn and refine every single day in order to stand out in a crowded marketplace, in a crowded workplace today. So what's holding you back? Magic happens when you get in position to be noticed, to be seen. These three critical skills will not only help you stand out, but it will take you miles ahead of the crowd. Go to toastmasters.org, find a club near you, join your club because there's no better place to practice these three critical skills than right here in Toastmasters. Stand out.